Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brani and I'm one half of the Incisive Reader. Today I'm here to unbox the November Fairy Duke, which is the Vengeance is Yours uh, theme. I think I know what book this is um, and I'm very excited for it. I have also had to like dive into the box to get the spoiler card. Who thought putting the spoiler card at the bottom was like a good idea? I don't know. But I'm most excited for the book. Can't really remember the items. So yeah, very excited to see what's in here. So I've got the first item out of its box, um, which is a Jade Fire Gold travel mug, apparently a bamboo one. And it says, the heart is not a weakness. Yeah, not, I thought it might say it is. Um, and then it's got like a dragon and kind of design. And then this like TV cover and matching lid. And it says, need a drink on the go, use this beautiful bamboo travel mug inspired by Jade Fire Gold. Blanca Design has done an amazing job designing the mug and we hope you love it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with always having more travel mugs. They will always get used uh, by me. Um, so that's really cool. I definitely like that. And then the next item I picked up is this Rage of Dragons washi tape. And it says it is inspired by The Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter. And it says to decorate your new notebook or any of your journals, we've included a full washi tape inspired by The Rage of Dragons designed by Blanca Design. Do you ever feel like I'm maybe opening the items in the wrong order? It does have writing on it. So, I don't know all the writing, but it has the end of stir and stir. So I assume it's monster, then there's fire and dragons and like sign not read the book i'm not even to be honest sure i've heard of it but that's a very cool design and i like the color scheme of it and then the next item is presumably inspired by the poppy wall and it says salties designed the sun in enamel oh. pin portraying rin from the poppy wall by rf Quang. we hope the pin will be a beautiful addition to your collection and that's a really cool pin. Um, so it's got like this, her, her, stood there with some burnt arrows and some fire and then poppies around it. And it says, I don't believe in gods, I believe in power. I didn't enjoy the poppy wall, but I really like this. And I know a lot of other people have, but I'll probably pass it on to someone who has read and enjoyed it. But I think that's really, really pretty. I love the design of it, it's so nice. Then we have this microfiber cloth with a kind of book with flowers coming out of it and there's a quote and it says the world resists when you break its rules and it's a quote from Vicious by V. E. Schwab and it's designed by Stella Bookish Art. Again having something like this that you can actually use is really really helpful. I like the design as well. I've not read Vicious but it is one that I'd like to read. I think Sam has a copy of it so you know maybe one day I'll get to that. Then the final not bookish item, uh, other than the tarot cards, is a notebook inspired by From Blood and Ash. I actually kind of looked through it, like I said, to get to the spoiler card. Saw that it was black with red foil in and actually thought it was Six of Crows. So that hits From Blood and Ash is really cool. And it said, From Blood and Ash we will rise, as per like one of the big quotes from the series. And then it's got uh, two wolves, a book i thought that might have been an eagle um a moon some leaves and then the dagger and then kind of like it almost looks like a gate the design is uh repeated on the back then down the edges it's like ready burgundy cold it's a reading journal i thought it was just like a normal notebook but it's actually a reading journal so it says page count star rating title author release date start date finish date review that's so cool. I Yeah, like I said, I was just fully expecting it to be just a normal notebook. And so for it to actually be a reading journal is really cool. I always want to kind of keep on top of reading journals, but never do when I have to actually make them myself. So having one that's kind of already filled in or created is a very useful thing for me personally. And it also comes with this little elastic and a ribbon bookmark. We'll definitely be using that. And it says, for the first time ever, we are including a book review notebook. This is perfect for keeping track of the books you've read and for noting down your thoughts on them. 
It features a beautiful design by Chatty Nora and is inspired by From Blood and Ash series by Jennifer L. Untrap. I really, really like that. That's really cool. Then the final items are the tarot cards. And for this one, we have the Seven and Eight of Pentacles and they are designed by Ego Egyons and feature Malik and Karina from A Song of Wraith and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown. I really like those. Once again, I have actually managed to read this, so that's really cool for the tarot cards. I think they look really cool. Once again, I really like the colours. I like their design. I like them. And then the book of the month is one I'm very excited about. I've heard great things. And so I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, how Fairy Loot have done it. Let's hope it's the right way. Oh, so it's like pink and teal. Did not expect that. Kind of just imagined it to be the same kind of design. So yeah, pink and green. Um, down the top, it's like pinky, magenta -y, burgundy. Then it's got daggers down the edge. Um, I want to see what else they've done to it. So it is signed here and then on the green hardback we have someone firing a bow and someone with a sword. I assume they are the main characters. And then under the dust jacket we have some more people who obviously I don't know who they are but I really like the design, the colours. It's really cool. Let me see what it says on the details. So it says our feature book of the month is Jade Fire Gold by June C.L. Tan. It's a story inspired by Chinese mythology where two people discover their entwined destinies. It's filled with revenge, rich magic and has an epic slow burn romance. I like a slow burn romance. Your fairy loot exclusive has an exclusive cover, stenciled spread edges, artwork on the reverse dust jacket by Jacoa, foil embossing on the cover also by jo I don't think I'm saying it, Jehoka and is signed by the author. Don't forget to read the author letter and check out the character print by Kate Acedia on the other side. So this is the character art. Again, I assume it's the main character and then obviously the author's note on the other side. I just wanna, wanna do like a little detour um, because also today, not on a fairy loot exactly route, but I got an Illumicrate um, delivery and I'm gonna show this to you because one, when I ordered it, I didn't know this box was coming, but it's that. So this is what it usually looks like. This is the Fairy Loot exclusive. Um, the cover, the hardback is usually orange. This one's obviously green. That's really cool. Um, I just thought I'd include it because obviously it's a Jade Fire Gold kind of unboxing. The Illuminate one also comes with some more character art, again with a note from the author on the other side. It has, I thought it had something else. It has a badge uh, with like an orange and a blue dragon. And then it also has this wooden bookmark with her up top, him at the bottom, depending which way around you are looking at it. So yeah, just thought I'd include these, you know, for the sake of comparison. Uh, apart from our little tangent, I'm going to actually find out what, you know, the kind of blurb says. The blurb does not say a lot. The blurb is like three lines long. It says, in an empire on the brink of war, Arn is no one with no past and no family. Alton is a lost heir, his future stolen away as a child. When they meet, Alton sees in Arn a path to reclaiming the throne. Arn sees a way to finally unlock her past and understand her lethal magical abilities. But they may have to pay a far deadlier price than either could have imagined. And then underneath it says, Girls are paid from fire meets a song of rates and ruin in June CL Tan's stunning debut where ferocious actions, shadowy intrigue and rich magic and the captivating slow burn romance collide. I really like those books, both Girls of Paper and Fire and The Song of Wraiths and Ruins, so I have high hopes for this and I'm really excited. I love having like this special edition. I think the colours in it are stunning. Not that I don't like them in the original, I really do. So yeah, very exciting to own both of these looking forward to reading it. If you enjoyed this unboxing please let me know down in the comments, let me know if you've read this or are planning to soon, let me know if you like any of the items, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you in another video. Bye!